Hi, I'm Scott, and this is Hike, Bike, Sleep, Repeat. In today's video, all we're gonna do is talk about our video and photography gear that I'm taking. In the next video, I will do a packing list of everything else that I'm bringing on this Trans Catalina backpacking trip. So, uh, we're gonna go do the Trans Catalina Trail, and I thought that I would do two videos. I'm gonna do a video on all my electronics that I'm gonna bring, which I gotta tell you, as I'm looking at them right now, makes me a little nervous because it's gonna be kind of heavy. Um, some of this stuff I might not even need uh, and I don't know it until I do it. So um, I'll report before and then I'll do another one after to see what I did need and what I didn't need. Um, but we're gonna talk a little bit about the electronics, what we're gonna be using uh, on the trip and then also um, I'm gonna do one on my packing list of everything, including clothes and tents and all that kind of stuff. That we're going to need. I'm going to be going with uh, three other people, my wife and my two daughters that are teenagers. Um, so they're going to help me carry some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, all the electronics that, uh, that I'm taking hopefully are going to go in this, uh, which is the Hex Ranger um, sling bag. Um, and this is going to go inside my um, Osprey Aether 60AG backpack. Um, all of this electronic stuff except for my Sony a7 III, um, which I'm filming on right now, and my Tamron 17 to 28 uh, lens, my wide angle lens, that is going to be attached to the front of my backpack. And uh, it's um, a little clip on my strap so I have quick access to it um, on the trail. I have used that, I love it, I love it. It's uh, well worth, uh, worth the purchase. Um, it's a little pricey um, for a, just a, a backpack clip, but it's it's well worth it, uh, and I really enjoy that and having that access. So it just sits right here on my on my strap. All right, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the DJI um, Mavic Air 2. Um, I will be bringing this drone. I am really excited about some of the clips that I think I can get um, off the island uh, off of my drone. It is the Fly More package, so it comes with two extra batteries, the charger and uh, the remote controller. This is obviously a heavy item and a bigger item, uh, but I think the images that I'm gonna be able to capture with this are gonna be unreal and really uh, take the videos um, up to a whole nother level. Now to control this, I have my, um, my iPhone 11 Pro Max, I believe. Um, so this just connects to the uh, controller and that takes care of the drone. I would have my phone anyway. Um, next, um, we have the my GoPro. Uh, it's the 8 Black, and this also it comes, well, it doesn't come with, but I'm bringing um, this little Joby Gorillapod uh, for the, for the um, GoPro. I'm not gonna be carrying the GoPro. My daughters are gonna be carrying the GoPro because I think it's gonna be kind of cool to have uh, different footage from them to see what was interesting to them and the different kind of candid shots that they got and mix those into the video. Um, we have one extra battery for the GoPro and we will bring the battery to the charging cord. I'm hoping to be able to charge on our second, third day, on our third day on the island. Um, when we go from Little Harbor all the way to Parsons Landing, we'll be going through um, two harbors, and there's a restaurant there and a store, and I'm hoping that's the area we can really charge um, almost all of our devices. Uh, so, we are going to bring this Patriot um, portable uh, solar charger, and then I just bought a 20,000, um, and I just bought a uh, portable power bank. Um, that we're gonna bring, that should be delivered tomorrow. Um, so that should be enough charge. We're also gonna bring a couple of these little guys just for my daughter's phones. All right, uh, next let's talk about the camera stuff. So uh, my camera is that I'm gonna be using solely is the so uh, Sony a7 III. I love this camera, full frame. Um, the, the majority of the time I'll have my Tamron 17-28 um, to 28 lens. Um, but I am going to bring, and this is another one that's, I don't know how much I'll really use, but I am going to bring my Sony 85 1.8 um, to do some other shots, uh, some portrait shots. I think I can get some really good ones of my daughters and my wife, uh, family-ish type shots. 
but it is a heavier lens and we'll see how much I use it. Um, I have this little case here for my uh, SD cards and I need a lot of them. I need a mini SD card for my drone, for the GoPro. Um, I need the, um, the bigger SD cards for my camera. Um, so I do have quite a few. I'm bringing those in this little case, it's waterproof. I just purchased this, uh, God, I think I want to pronounce it, Vigim, Vigim, V-I-J-I-M, and it's the Vigim uh, VL196, Vigim VL196, uh, and it's a, uh, it's a portable lighting system, and it changes colors, it does all kinds of cool stuff, but I thought it would be a good, uh, Good idea to have this uh, to do some really cool night shots um, by the fire and out by the beach. Um, lighting, uh, once we're since we're on the topic of lighting, uh, I just got this uh, KH ND filter, a variable uh, ND filter. I think it's really going to help my um, videos with um, you know, we're, we're supposed to be getting full sun the entire weekend, so I think that's really going to help. Um, I'm, I think I've been doing some of my frame rates wrong, uh, trying to get the exposure right on my camera, and I think this uh, ND filter will be able to help me, hopefully. Now, that being said, it's a good time to probably say, this is all new to me. Um, the camera stuff I've been learning like crazy, the learning curve is huge, um, but if there's anything uh, that I am doing wrong or saying wrong, please comment below and let me know. I am learning right along with you. I'm, uh, I love taking you on my adventures with me, um, but I am by no means an expert, so if you have any ideas, put those in the comments down here and I'll answer back and hopefully you can help me out. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to take is the uh, extra battery charger. So this charges two batteries for my Sony a7 III. Um, again, hopefully in two harbors we'll be able to do a charge. And last but not least, and this is another one that I'm just not sure about, um, I have a cheaper tripod that's actually really cheap that my camera's on right now but it's really light actually, and I'm thinking maybe that's what I'll bring instead of this really nice Joby, uh, the 5K kit. This is really nice. Um, obviously it's real bendable and I can really use it. Uh, the problem is it's pretty heavy. Um, so for out backpacking, I'm not sure if I want that extra weight. So these are all the electronics that I will be using uh, or I'll be bringing. To, on the Trans Catalina Trail. I'm very, very interested to see what I will use and what I won't use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you like it and you're interested in our whole packing list for the Trans Catalina backpacking trip, um, like, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified when I put out the next video of our entire packing list for the trip. Thanks a lot, see you on the next side.